Hi, I'm Madhuri from Magical Whispers. Hope you have been enjoying the story so far. Today's story pot is brewing with an interesting story, that of courage and bravery. Are you ready? So type yes if you're ready. I can see some friends online. Yeah, so let's start with this song. A pinch of hope. A pinch of hope. A punch of love. A punch of love and magic smoke and magic smoke. Stir in some fun. Stir in some fun. The magic pot is ready to cook some stories dreamy. The magic pot is ready to cook some stories dreamy. Abracadabra. Zooby dooby dot. Again. Abracadabra. Zooby dooby dot. Let's cook some stories in the magic pot. Let's cook some stories in the magic pot. So today's story is about Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. You must have recently celebrated Maharashtra Day. Well, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj was the greatest and the bravest Maratha king. He fought many wars and he won many forts. So today children, we are going to learn how Shivaji Maharaj escaped from Agra. Shivaji Maharaj was very brave children. The Maratha kingdom was growing and flourishing under his rule. He had captured many Mughal forts and he had recaptured them and established the Maratha kingdom far and wide across this country. Aurangzeb, the emperor of the Mughal Sultanate, was sitting in Agra and he was hoping to catch hold of Shivaji. He was very furious with Shivaji because he has caught so many forts from the Mughal Sultanate. One day he sent out an invite to Shivaji, asking him to come and join him for his birthday celebrations. Shivaji Maharaj was very happy to receive the invite. Mm, finally, Emperor Aurangzeb has recognized the Maratha kingdom. We shall all go. Let's prepare. Bring lots of gifts and lots of sweets. And with a few trusted Mawlas, his soldiers, his son Sambhaji, Shivaji Maharaj set out to Agra. But as he reached Agra, in the palace, he was made to stand among the commoners. Can you imagine all the kings standing right in the front and sitting near the emperor Aurangzeb and Shivaji Maharaj, the king of Maratha kingdom, was made to stand amongst commoners. This was an insult Shivaji Maharaj couldn't take. He stormed inside the palace. And he waved at Aurangzeb and said, How dare you? How dare you insult a Maratha king? Aurangzeb was looking for just this opportunity. And he caught Shivaji and his trusted Maulas and Sambhaji and put them in house arrest. The house was heavily guarded, children. Even a small little ant had to take permission before entering anything like food and clothing that had to go inside were checked and rechecked by these soldiers. Shivaji Maharaj thought it's going to be really tough to get out of Agra now. With just a handful of soldiers, how do I fight an entire army? How do I get out of this heavily guarded house? when he hatched a plan. A plan so smart, a plan so wise that nobody would have guessed. And out would have come Shivaji Maharaj and Sambhaji and his Maulas. One day, one of the Maulas ran across and went to the soldier and said, quick, quick, please call a ved. Shivaji Maharaj isn't feeling well. He is very sick. A Ved was called up. 
uh, where, where came and he gave some medicines. He said, maybe this will make you feel better. Days passed, weeks passed, but Shivaji Maharaj wasn't feeling better at all. Aurangzeb thought, mm, that's it. This is the end of Shivaji and I shall recapture the Maratha kingdom. Shivaji Maharaj was feeling very sick, children. He sent out a message to Aurangzeb. He asked Aurangzeb to let some of his maulas go back to the Maratha kingdom. After all, he was so sick, he did not need so many attendants. Aurangzeb thought, hmm, it's okay, let it be, let the maulas go. I think this is just the end of Shivaji. Let me show some mercy. Let go of some maulas. Now, with just a handful of maulas and some bhaji, Shivaji really hatched a great plan. The great escape from Agra. After a few days, he sent out a message to Aurangzeb to, uh, requesting him to let Shivaji send out some sweets for the poor. Maybe their blessings, their blessings would help Shivaji feel better. Aurangzeb thought, that's it. This is it. Shivaji is really going to be defeated now. That's the end of Shivaji. Let him send some sweets, he said. This was the opportunity Shivaji was looking for. He called for big baskets, big and huge baskets, children. The baskets were filled with sweets up to the top. Every day sweets were sent out to the poor. The first few days, all the guards would check the sweets, go right till the bottom, check all the entire basket and see if there is anything inside. But as days passed and weeks passed, the guards got really tired of checking the baskets. They started letting go of the baskets unchecked. Shivaji and Sambhaji were looking for this opportunity and in climbed Sambhaji, little Sambhaji, inside the basket and he was covered with sweets. In climbed Shivaji and he was covered with sweets. And in climbed four other maulas and they were covered with sweets. But the fifth maula, the most trusted one, stayed back. He went and he lay down on Shivaji's bed, pretending to be Shivaji and tricked the guards. The big and huge baskets were carried out of the house. Slowly and steadily, the baskets were sneaked out of the house. And that's how Shivaji and Sambhaji escaped from Agra right under the nose of these guards and those soldiers. And that's how Shivaji was. I hope you liked this story. So Shivaji with his wit and his courage escaped from Agra. He didn't have to use his famous talwar Bhavani. But we shall definitely sing his slogan. Sing with me. Jai Bhavani, Jai Shivaji, Jai Bhavani, Jai Shivaji. Thank you. Next week. Don't forget to log in and we are going to teach you how to make Shivaji Stalwar with a bit of newspaper, some foil, some fevicol and some cellophane tape. See you. Bye.